This is a forgery. This is a fabrication. This is a lie. And wrongly, some fabricated statement was related to Holy Prophet Since the person who fabricated that statement, he wrongly, he is wrongly declaring that this is Hadith. That's why the word Modu in the book of Usulul Hadith is mentioned as a Hadith. But in fact, Modu is not really a Hadith of Holy Prophet. This is just a fabrication and a lie. When we speak of Hadith of Holy Prophet So Hadith of Holy Prophet would be either Sahih or Hassan or Daif. In spite of being Daif, it would be regarded as Hadith of Holy Prophet there is not something to be rejected absolutely. This is a beautiful interpretation of Imam Jalaluddin Siyuti which he has given in his book At-Tadrib Al-At-Takrib. And then Imam Nawawi further says about Sahih that if in the book of Hadith the word Ghayru Sahih is used, Imam Nawawi says, and the same has been declared by Imam Ibn Salah because Imam Nawawi has summarized his book, Ibn Salah. He says that the word Ghayru Sahih does not mean Ghayru Sahih. Some people say this hadith is not Sahih. Now he is explaining what does it mean. Some people say, we don't accept. This is not Sahih Hadith. They don't know what does it mean. What is Sahih? They, they know neither Sahih nor Ghair Sahih. They are totally ignorant of the terms and ignorant of the basic principles. So Imam Ibn Salah and Imam Nabawi and Imam Asqalani and Imam Sayyuti and Imam Zainuddin al-Iraqi all Imams and authorities Unanimously they say in their own books respectively. When the word is used, this hadith is ghayru sahih. When this is stated, he say it means just lam yaseh isna dohu. Its chain of authority, its chain and its sanad does not fulfill some specific conditions which have been fixed for sahih. And then he says that it does not mean at other place that it is kazib. If it is stated this hadith is ghayru sahih, it would never mean that this is kazib. This is lie, this is wrong. Even they say that if it is stated this is daif, being daif does not mean that this is kazib. That this is lie, this is wrong, this is fabricated. There is a very big difference between two ends. Sahih is the highest end of the category of Hadith. And Maudu, every Daif Hadith would never be considered as Maudu. The one which would never be accepted. The one which is liable to be rejected. The one which would never be accepted for our practice. The one which would never be received. The one which would never be relied upon. That is not the hadith daif. That is maudu, the fabricated one. If it is said that this hadith is ghair sahih, this meaning would be taken that it means that this is maudu, this is rejectable, this is not acceptable, this is not practicable, this is not receivable, this is just a jahala. I will finish my two days talk with these two examples so that your minds are very clear on this concept. For example, Sahih in categorization of Hadith and classification of Hadith is the highest level. The highest level of the quality. The highest standard of the quality of chain. Not the text. That is known as Sahih. This is a specific technical term given to the highest Standard of the chain. Sahih. And when it is stated as, for example, 
the highest office in the governmental structure in a country is the prime minister's office is the prime minister office this is the highest office for example in a structure of a government so hadith is sahih is the prime minister of ahadith when we categorize the hadith in these terms just to explain this possesses the stature and status like a prime minister possesses the status in his government sahi and the word wrong is not opposite of sahi there is no bracket between sahi and sahi ghair sahi does not mean wrong wrong is fabricated when it is stated that this is if somebody says that he is not prime minister when a muhaddis says haza al hadith ghair sahih ya lam yasih this hadith is not sahih keep this sentence in your mind this sentence is like this sentence if somebody says dr zahid is not the prime minister Mr Sethi is not prime minister of Britain saying this that he is not the prime minister does not mean that he is not a peer in this country it does not mean that he is not a peer he is not a soldier he is not a policeman he is not an inspector he is nothing does it mean this sentence if he is not a prime minister maybe he is a minister not prime minister but he is minister and the one who is minister in the terminology of usulul hadith he would be known as hasan hadith e hasan <laughs> he is a he is a minister still he is a minister in the cabinet but you are saying he is not prime minister this is the meaning of hazar hadith ghairu sahi it just negates being prime minister it can he can be minister he can be a secretary he can be a commissioner he can possess any other one of the higher offices of the government he can be a policeman he can be inspector and coming too much down coming too much down the lowest level he may be a peer in a office in an office still he is in service he is not jobless although at a very lower position but he is still serving in the government he is holding a government position so there is a very big difference between being prime minister and being jobless so maudu is a jobless person nothing to do no benefit rejectable in the same way other example for example somebody says he is not ghos of the time ghos is the highest position spiritual position and status and rank held by the awliya the highest rank held among the awliya when somebody says he is not a ghos so hadith is sahi is ghos in structure of ahadith possesses the stature of ghos possesses the stature of qutb when somebody says he is not qutb he is not ghos does it mean he is a kafir kafir is like hadith e maudu totally out of the ambit of islam hadith maudu fabricated is totally out of the ambit of hadith it is not hadith this is just a fabrication so if somebody says that he is not kutub of time he is not ghos of the time does this sentence mean that he is a kafir and fasik and fajir and he is a be iman if he is not ghos and kutub 